48 people liking his post. Here is a breakdown of how I animated this stylized underwater scene. I created a base model of a brick-like character. Of course, I jumped into the first pool I could find and recorded myself. Nah, we don't really need that. Just put its arms down and ping pong the legs back and forth. Slowly, the viewer needs to be able to feel the water resistance through the animation. The drag of the slippers really helps with that too. We found some ski glasses lying around. Recycling, smart. Hook that thing up to an air tank. <laughs> what could go wrong? Add a noise modifier to the Z channel and we're floating. The plan was to make a diver who comes past a derelict boat made of fiberglass. Unfortunately, these got dumped quite a lot. I made the seabed in Blender with some quick displacement modifier magic. Before we flood the seabed with a lot of fun details, uh, I like to position the boat first. So I played around with the position and the rotation to get the composition until I felt happy. Some manual adjustments to embed the boat into the sand. This helps illustrate that the boat has been there for a while. To populate the seabed I modeled a couple of cute little coral pieces. To scatter them around we can use geometry nodes in Blender. The key is to give the instances random rotation, scale and color for maximum variation with minimal unique models. Using vertex groups and a Musgrave texture we have manual control over these procedural clumps of coral and rocks. I like to make sure that there are foreground objects. This will complement the depth of field that we are going to create. Using a particle system I created bubbles for the diver. I scaled them randomly with a noise modifier so there is not a consistent flow of bubbles. I also used a particle system to create the fishes in the boat. These inquisitive creatures like to explore such odd places, but usually they are too scared to come out of their hiding when there is a diver uh, that appears out of nowhere. So I used a box that serves as a collision so they are not going out of this container. Because the scene clearly ends at 30 meters from the camera, I need some render passes that can compensate for this in the composition phase. There's just something about the mist pass that really satisfies me. You can just slap on some colors and you have a nice wallpaper. That's actually not a bad idea. For the scene I colored the mist pass in After Effects, but basically you can use whatever composition software you use. Uh, they should be able to do this. I like to add in some caustics to this tropical underwater scene. For this I animated a noise-like texture that I skewed with a directional blur. I used After Effects to do this and that created these underwater god rays. Uh, this is cool, but it's kind of lame without the proper caustics on the floor as well. And I don't mean just on the floor because they need to be on the boat, on the diver, everywhere basically. So For this I hopped in back to Blender uh, for the last time. Over in Blender I just created a black material, basically assigned it to everything so that it would cast so that it would catch all the all the light I was going to emit. And you have a nice contrast between black and white. I'm using a plane because it's easier to visualize the texture I'm going to create. When I have completed the texture, I can just copy it over to the spotlight and use that as a projection. Crank up the spotlight to a number that gives you a nice contrast. And then it's time to render the scene. This shouldn't take too long because it's just black and white. And it doesn't really matter if it's noisy, you can always blur it a little bit. So back in our compositing software, we can import our pass and adjust the blending mode. And voila, that's basically it. And now all that's left to do is add in some nice ambient sound and maybe some bubble sound effects. It was an absolute pleasure to work on this shot. And most of the scenes from this animation are fun little projects for me to look back on. I leave a link in the description for you to see the whole animation. And as always, stay creative. I'll see you next time. Ciao. <laughs>